I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And this is another amazing episode of What the? Retro Recipes. That's right. 50s and 60s recipes that maybe should have never been made, but they were. But they were. Today's recipe is going to be chicken, chicken surprise. surprise. <laughs> I know when I read the recipe, I was surprised. I was surprised, yeah. So Duke found this recipe and I'm excited to try it. I have mm -hmm. to say, I'm always excited to try these recipes though because I am a very positive person and I want to believe the best about the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's going to take a positive person to try this out. So we'll read over the ingredients real quick so you know what goes into the surprise. I think the surprise is what happens when you put them all together. One medium onion chopped. Two tablespoons fat. It doesn't specify what kind of fat, so we're gonna use olive oil. I got fat. plenty of it to go around, baby. <laughs> One whole fryer cooked and deboned. Two cups raisins. Two cups raisins. Of raisins. Two cups raisins. I've never seen that anywhere in my entire life. One half cup celery and leaves chopped. Two tablespoons vinegar, which we have. Two cups brown sugar. What the? Retro recipes. <laughs> I feel there's some chicken to go along with the sugar. Oh my gosh. Um, there is going to be a fourth of a cup orange juice. One cup orange peel grated. They're gonna we're gonna peel oranges until we Not fill in the Not zest. Cup. Orange peel yeah. grated. That's what I said. One cup tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Three tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 Worcestershire sauce. Someone's gonna correct us, we don't know. One and a half tablespoons mustard, mustard, normal. And one cup sherry, which we don't have sherry and we're not running out just for sherry, so I looked it up. It's the only thing we're substituting. White wine, we can get away with. So, time to get started. <laughs> So much prep work. Oh my, so much prep Oof. work. Yes. So and the recipe was crazy. The recipe, oh, it's not crazy. It's not that hard. <laughs> but the except, amount of the recipe is crazy. The amount of the recipe is crazy. It's too much for us. We are not feeding a farmhouse full of people. No. So um, actually, we gave you the full recipe at the beginning, but we've cut it in half. Chop, chop, chop. Partly because that's way too much food for us. We don't want to waste food. It's going to get wasted. <laughs> and partly because I wanted to use the second half of that chicken so I can make some enchiladas later. Mm -hmm. So half we have to Unless it turns out to be amazing. And, the, and then we have dinner made. Then we have dinner made. You never know. <laughs> this could be, could surprise me once yeah, again. Yeah. So that's, uh, that There's a lot of things going on in this, all of which I'm like, none of these are like terrible in and of no, themselves. No, none of them are terrible. In fact, now that they're actually broken down and there are rock components right in front of us, it doesn't, it doesn't look, look as bad. terrible. Uh, yeah, we're going to, we're, uh, we're going to stay positive and hopefully it's going to be delicious. So I hope this pan will work. It might be too small, but Duke already started with the onion. So from there, we're gonna add our chicken in. And what are you wearing, Lola? Oh, I'm wearing this beautiful little uh, heels in the kitchen. Dress. Oh yes, he heels in the kitchen. <laughs> Every lady wears heels in the kitchen, right? Right. And then we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. So we have our onions. So we have our chicken in here. Get our freshly squeezed orange juice in there. We're gonna add our cooking cherry, the orange zest, so our peel. We'll see what the zest a la the, orange. The, yeah, the zest a la orange. Look at that. It smells amazing. I'm not gonna lie. When we were when we were grating it, it smelled so good. First, it kept 
like squirting in the eye. So then Duke took yeah. over. It does smell very good. It's the the orange is kind of winning me over. We'll, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're, we're gonna, gonna see. see. That there's a lot here that's not time. winning me over, such as the celery and the mustard. The celery can be good. It's it's a it's an odd combination for mm -hmm. sure. It is a little odd. The raisins. I don't know. I even like raisins, but in baked goods, not in savory dishes. So mm. we'll see. I don't know, a little Moroccan. Brown sugar. We do not eat this like in a whole year. <laughs> so we're gonna go with our tomato sauce. Come on, we're being positive It'll here. stick to your bones, that's for so sure. we have our vinegar. What is it? Three tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. Worst, 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 the worst shear. All I have is one tablespoon, so I'm gonna do it as like one tablespoon because it's three in the original recipe, we're halving it. So we're just gonna guess on what uh, three fourths of a tablespoon that sure that's okay. a little yeah sure i mean like whatever at this okay. at this point you've thrown everything else in the pan i think you need to just go grab the kitchen sink right there and just dump it right in the pan and then uh, we would there's be set. a lot in here so we're gonna we are gonna put it on for 10 minutes so timer 10 start uh it smells kind of amazing lola it smells surprisingly I, good how is that possible I don't know. When I read the ingredients, we're talking mustard, we're talking raisins. I'm very- We're talking things that should never all be together I'm in the same recipe. I'm very intrigued. I will say, I bet it's very sweet, and maybe if it was served over, I mean, we'll find out when we taste it. But like I, rice? The smell of it, yeah. It smells like it should be served like over rice. I'm afraid that it's gonna be candied. I'm afraid it's gonna be like super, super disgustingly sweet. A cup of brown sugar, or two cups, but oh. a cup of brown sugar and a cup of raisins. Oh. That's a lot. Like, but... come on, like raisins and mustard in the same dish. You that's, know? That's a lot, Lola. Strange a lot going bedfellows. On. A lot Strange going on. Strange bedfellows. For sure. <laughs> All right. Let's put it in the oven. Five, four, three, two, one. one. Let's go, babes. I don't know. Ooh. I just don't know. And this is oh, a pretty looks standard thing. Looks good. Smells good. Oh. Oh man! No. Look at those raisins. They really plumped up. Oh. That's just <laughs> no. No, I'm starting to really question um, it. It's a little scary. Uh, um, I thought this was a chicken dish, and apparently it's a raisin dish. It's a raisin dish. I don't know why I picked this. I blame it on myself. It's Duke's fault. I was the one who found the recipe. <laughs> I do have to say, I think that the raisins have re-graped themselves. Oh, I'm already, <laughs> like, I, I was like kind of ready for it. I was like, hey, this isn't so bad. And now I'm like, I don't know. Mm, we just don't see. know. Time for our big reveal. We have been smelling this cooking for the last hour. What? What? Let's go. Are you ready, dude? Let's see it, Lola. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, the... <laughs> Not the best presentation. No. But not the best. That's, that's the, best the best way to put it. But um, it smells actually really good. What's crazy to me is that this is from the 50s and this is the recipe cut in half as we discussed. Yes, we have to. The recipe was, they claim for four people and they claim that this is for two people. I don't even know but how to Knowing I what's eat going that. into this, I I can't even imagine. I could see this being for four people. This I is would definitely serve like it. a once a month food item. Well, There's I no would way serve you could it. stay thin and eat this. I would serve it with maybe like a little bit of quinoa and then a steamed veg or a salad. We haven't tried it yet. We haven't it? tried. We haven't even tried it. We don't know. Um, There's so many the things going on in peel this. Peel grated is what I'm kind of concerned I'm about. Hoping but. that this is what they had you cook it for an entire hour. So this has almost been two and a half hours of work yeah. from beginning to end. This is ridiculous. It's got this better first. be just amazing. So I'm gonna start to whoops, I'm gonna start to dish up. I need a drink first. Do I don't even I don't even hate raisins, but this is next toast. level. Toast. Okay. I'm not cheating, I'm going full Me full too. scoop on this. Huh. That's a lot. Um, That's so much flavor. That's a lot. This is a lot of flavor. This is a lot of flavor. It's almost oh like my. it's almost like a very fruity stuffing. 
like a Christmas or a Thanksgiving stuffing. It, what actually overwhelms this dish is the orange. The orange. I don't think it's that bad. If you put it with like some rice. I some can't imagine though goose. eating this. This is it. This is the recipe. This is it. Just eat this. And there's like oil running off of it while we we we. I would plate. say maybe maybe a little less. I just, just made my ears pop. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I just felt my ears pop. It, this is like so strong. It's really strong. So very You're a big strong. baby. It's a big baby. You're a big baby. Wow, wow, dude. It's very strong. It's very intense. Wow. If you went to Panda Express, it's very intense. They got their orange chicken, but then just cranked up the orange flavor like three times. And put a lot of raisins in it. A lot of raisins. It's like it's like eating a sugar stick of orange. You can barely tell there's even raisins or chicken in it. No, I got a lot of raisins. But the chicken, no, the chicken disappears. You don't, I mean, do you even need the chicken at this point? But to think that somebody, and this is obviously a recipe that was in a, a major cookbook back in the day, like they would actually just eat this. Like this is, they would fill their plate with this and just eat it straight. It's really intense. It's, it's, it's like a very condensed flavor that needs to be evened out with. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's a very condensed to flavor. To be 100% truthful. It's not a bad, I don't think it's a bad flavor. It's not terrible mm -hmm. flavor. It's just so very strong. So much. That yeah. is like intense, like off the charts, sugary and, and orangey. Yeah, there's raisins in it. You can't even tell there's raisins. I mean, you know they're there, but they're not like, the, the flavor of the raisins isn't there. They're, these are the questions. We would yeah. have to ask ourselves, yeah. would we eat it? The yeah. answer is, yeah, yeah. I, I'd eat this. Yeah. This needs rice, pasta, mm -hmm. what were you saying? A lot of veg. It actually almost is a tiki dish, like a vintage tiki dish. Kinda, it's got, yeah, it's got the For sweet, real. sour. But the idea that you would eat Just this very entire intense. thing split between two people with still so much chicken and, and, and grease and everything else raisins and everything else so would you came, recommend it we saw we ate some food and i would not recommend it on no, its own would not thank you for joining us thank you for joining we, us uh, came along on this adventure that's right